On September 28, 2022, Hurricane Ian made landfall on the west coast of Florida as a Category 4 storm. I am here in Tampa, Florida, where Hurricane Ian recently devastated the southwest coast of Florida. We've been able to distribute truckloads of animal food. We've been able to distribute over 50,000 human meals as well. Hurricane Ian now is becoming the most impactful hurricane to have hit Florida in a long time and the destruction. The storm is responsible for at least 114 deaths, an estimated $40 billion in damage, Oof. and as we're learning now, the destructions of tens of thousands of bee colonies. Bees are super important when it comes to our food. A major blow to Florida's agriculture, and Liz Baker is the CEO of Greater Good Charities here to explain. Liz, thank you for being with us. So, you know, let's talk about Ian and why it was so destructive to the bees. Was it the wind, the water, or both? I mean, I think it was all of the above, and you know, I, I, I don't think people necessarily immediately think of bees um, when they, they think of, of habitat destruction and destruction from storms like Ian, um, but like you said, tens of thousands of, of bee colonies were disrupted um, or destroyed, and the same thing with the, the foliage and, and the, the, the food that the bees oh, feed right, on. Oh, the source, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Upwards of 50 to 60,000 hives that we know of have been completely lost, and that's not even telling what's going to get lost. They haven't been able to get to all of the bee yards. And then boxes and hives that are there today might not be here in six months because of the damage to queens and the forage. Greater Good Charities worked with Man Lake and Cargill to help. So honeybees are really important for a lot of the crop pollination that we have, um, not just here in Florida, but all around the nation. They do pollination, and so what that means is they basically take pollen from one flower, they go to another flower, and basically are fertilizing flowers so that those flowers can grow. Without the honeybees, we really just wouldn't have a lot of the quality and nutritious crops and fruits and vegetables that we have um, at the grocery store. And so the prices would skyrocket for consumers, and also we just wouldn't have the variety of fruits and vegetables that we have today. The storm outright killed about 400 of our hives. They went underwater, they drowned. Uh, we had boxes get swept away. Ultimately, the storm, uh, it took out a very important honey flow. Ultimately, this storm has costed just my business at least a half a million dollar hit because a lot of the trees were stripped of leaves and all that pollen that the bees strive on to, to grow is now going to be gone. We're figuring it's 50 to 75, possibly 100,000 beehives were affected by this storm and the whole honey crop of a quarter of a million hives was affected. You've got about 15 and a half to almost 16 billion dollars worth of agriculture that are directly related to honeybees pollinating it. The industry, if you really think on one third of your food, and that even covers your proteins, which would be beef, fish, all of those require something that is pollinated. There basically are no wild bee colonies left. And so without the beekeepers and what they do to, to maintain their hives and their bees, uh, we would have a serious issue with pollination in, in this country. And it's challenging keeping bees. Even on a, uh, in a regular year, there are all kinds of issues that beekeepers have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis to keep their hives thriving. We're just trying to support the beekeepers who are impacted by the hurricane so that they can bring their hives back and provide those pollination services and produce the honey that is their business. Today we're having a hurricane relief event uh, in the wake of Hurricane Ian. Yes sir, good to go. Appreciate it. Have a good one. What we did today, we partnered with Greater Good Charities just to promote the importance of feeding and get some much needed feed onto these hives and into the beekeepers' hands. Our goal was really to help um, sustain uh, 1.7 million bees um, over the next 30 days, which will then give the beekeepers time to really get their hives back and, and going. Now, what we provided was um, over 500,000 pounds of, of bee syrup and about 100,000 pounds of bee salt 
bee pollen substitute so that the beekeepers can feed and tend to their hives. Today, we had 250,000 pounds of syrup, about 23 to 24,000 gallons, another 50,000 pounds of pollen, and that's in addition to the 200,000 pounds of syrup at the October 16th event, and an additional 50,000 pounds of pollen there as well. So we're really putting out a ton of feed for these beekeepers, but they need it. None of this is possible without any of you guys as beekeepers doing what you do every single day. Greater Good Charities, Brooke, we all owe Brooke and her team a big thank you. The actions of Greater Good Charities, the actions of Man Lake, this is unprecedented that this happened. This is the first time we've had a disaster like this in Florida. We're mighty thankful as an industry to have people that were looking out for us and have done this and it helps out, every little bit helps out in the grand scheme of things to keep beekeepers and other agriculture in the state of Florida afloat during these times. We're very grateful to all the people who came out to support this event today. Greater Good Charities donated a lot of syrup and protein patties for the bees that will be critical to the beekeepers in recovering their hives over the coming seasons. So far we've given 250 beekeepers different items to rebuild their bee business and it's started with food, which is high fruit corn syrup, pollen, and also a lot of bee boxes and other equipment. So Really great to be here to see the incredible work that's being done. Um, in Tampa, Florida in response to Hurricane Ian. Over a two week period, Greater Good Charities, in partnership with Cargill and Man Lake, donated more than 508,800 pounds of syrup and more than 96,900 pounds of bee pollen substitute in Arcadia, Fort Myers, and Winter Haven, Florida. This donation feeds close to 1.7 billion bees for 30 days. From all of us here, we thank those who make what we do possible. Huge thank you to everyone who made all of this happen. Greater Good Charities, the Florida State Beekeepers Association, Cargill for their donations, the beekeepers who make it possible, the vendors in the industry who made all of these events possible. Never been so proud to be a part of this industry watching everyone come together. <laughs>